say what do you do my YouTube viewers retro pro Frank with another upload here okay um, this is like a bit of an update for the uh, main arcade cabinet the original one I built the stand up um, since then uh, since the last video there's been a lot of things that I've added to this cabinet uh, some extra buttons along the top there you can see those four I added a button on the side here that when you press it once it turns on the whole cabinet okay and I actually installed uh, the program Hyperspin that came in. So I just want to give a little bit of a demonstration of what happens to this machine when you press the power button. Now I'm going to show you where the power button is so you don't have to open up the bottom half here. Let's take a look at that. Okay guys, so you can see here's the control panel here, okay? So in order to power up the whole system, I've installed one button right there, okay? Now it looks like an arcade button so it kind of blends in. So this button is actually wired directly right into the uh, the computer uh, on-off switch, okay? So it's like a double computer on-off switch. Now I can go down um, inside here. I'm going to open this up. You guys have a look. It might be a little dark and gloomy in there, okay? Now I can press power on the actual computer there. You can see I got some extra paint in there. There's my two uh, terabyte hard drive. There's the coin slot that I added that's wired up. And in order to make it light up, it actually goes right into the USB there. I don't know, it's kind of hard. A little bit late, guys, so it's kind of hard to see. But, uh, yeah, that um, coin slot there, the coin Mac, is just uh, attached through uh, USB, which gives it 5 volts of power. Enough to illuminate the lights, but not very bright. Okay, so I'm going to show you what happens. Let's close this up. Mind the shaky camera, guys. Whoop. Guess I didn't lock the coin mech. <laughs> the coin door, sorry. Okay. So what happens is, in order to turn this on, instead of bending over and doing all that inside the bottom there, I've installed this and I soldered that directly onto the uh, computer on off switch. So when I turn it on, this is what happens now. So it's one click of the button there. So you do see the Dell logo, that kind of sucks, but, you know, and you do see the Windows logo, and I'm not trying to hide it, you know, like this is an emulation machine, so obviously something has to run it, right? Hi guys. <laughs> so let's see how she uh, boots up over here. So this is automatic, I'm standing behind here, there's no gimmicks, no tricks. So as soon as the computer turns on, it's got its priority loads windows and let's see the uh, what happens here so right off the bat it loads directly into hyperspeed so that's pretty cool right off the bat you don't even have to do anything so now uh, you can see it goes directly into some of the previews here. If I press down on the control panel, these are all the different systems on the side here. So American Laser Games, look at the intro here. Pretty sick, right? Got Apple Computer. What's on here? Look at all the Atari 2600, 5200, 7800. Atari Lynx. Look at the paper boy, look how slow that's running, it looks terrible. shooters on here. 
Channel F, Fairchild. Uh, this is uh, <laughs> it's a lot older than I am, but Amiga. You can see that's all HD quality there too. Amiga CD32. Cool systems. So I think there's like 88 different systems on here. And I only got a couple programmed. So that's the original Pong there. <laughs> Famicom disk system. Sega STV. That's pretty cool. Wow, look at the skin on that lady right there. Wowzers. Future Pinball. It's funny because they're actually playing um, Metal Slug in the background. That's pretty cool. Game Boy. This one I really want to program soon too. Game Boy Advance. You can tell the uh, creators of Hyperspin, they put in work on this, that's for sure. I'm turn it down a little bit. Turn it down just a bit. Television. That's before my time. Jukebox. I don't know exactly what that is, but that's how it came preloaded. Odyssey. One of my personal favorites. This is why, you know, I play arcade games for this. This is all the classic Neo Geo stuff on there. Thank you. I'm gonna adjust the camera a little bit. Sorry, guys. Metal Slug, baby, yeah. Neo Geo Pocket. Neo Geo Pocket Color. Nintendo 64. It looks very, very nice. This front end is beautiful. Nintendo, what did that say? Oh, so this is all the uh, first, first Nintendo games. Then we got Nintendo Entertainment System. I think I skipped one too. Where is it? Nintendo DS. We also got Game Boy Color. We got Nintendo GameCube. And this thing is just rammed with games. I think there's like 30,000 games on this. Unreal. And then we got the... This is actually pretty cool. I want to set this up. It's kind of hard to get it directly on it, but... There we go. Virtual Boy. If you guys want to get a headache, there's a way to go. Virtual Boy. <laughs> Alright, so then we got the Nintendo Wii. Look at this guy. <laughs> what else we got? Open bar. What's this? This looks actually really cool. Wow, look at that. Uh, X-Men. Panasonic 3DO. There's kind of a niche uh, system there. And we got the uh, PC Engine. Another great emulator here, boys and girls. All you Turbo fans out there. PC games, so games for Windows. This is pretty cool how they included this, I think. PC effects. Back to the movies. So I guess there's a few movies on here. I don't really know what they loaded it with. Popcat. RCA Studio 2. Like, see, I wouldn't really be playing any of these, you know. Sega 32X. It's actually 
actually really good. You know what? That's really underrated, the Mega 32X. Same with the Sega CD. And I like how they put the Mega CD in the background. It just looks better, eh? Dreamcast. Game Gear. Mega Drive. Master System. Got the, uh, oh jeez, come on, M2, M3, Sega Saturn, another great console as well, Sega SG-1000, PlayStation, love that shot right there, PS2 games, I don't even know what half of these are, you know, Super Nintendo, of course you gotta have that, and they show the Famicom, I like that a lot, Super Famicom, Super Graphics, PC Engine, like just the console alone for something like that, it's over 300 Canadian for sure. Supervision, what do we got? That's another one I want to uh, program in here as well. I should give you guys a preview of all the different systems that are on here. Champ, when you need them. Turbo graphic CD. Graphic CD. I don't know what the hell this is. Maybe some kind of karaoke. Pinball. We've already seen something similar to this. Wonder Swan. Color. Wonder Swan, the original. And then we're back to the first one. So you can see like all the different, uh, so these are like all the different uh, systems, right? But if you click into one of these, so say we want Neo Geo, we'll click into that. Now once you click into it, it brings you to another wheel, which are all the games for that system. So you can see what's available here, like Art of Fighting, you know what I mean? Like Baseball Stars, it's just endless, you know? And then you can exit out of this. Actually, that's going to take me in. we got to exit. How do we exit again? When you exit out, say you want to do Nintendo 64 now. Say you want to play something for uh, N64, if I can get it. <laughs> it's kind of tricky to get it land right on it. Eh? It takes uh, some skill. When you, when you click on that, you go start. And now these are all the N64 games. 007, 1080. You know, you can see all the Banjo-Kazooie, Banjo-Tooie. You can see all the games here, Flower Man 64, and, it, and that wheel just keeps going, guys. So you can see everything that's available here. There's just tons of stuff when it comes to N64. If you want to get out, I can't remember. I think it's this one to get out. No, this one? Yeah, there you go. Say you want to check out some PC Engine stuff. Click into that. Now it brings up all the PC Engine stuff. Like, look at that, Alien Crush. Got some Japanese title, Batman, you know what I mean? So it's just like endless, endless amount of games, okay? So let's see if I can remember how to exit here. Alright, let's say we want to check out um, Sega CD, or 32X, Sega CD. And you can see all the games here for Sega CD, okay? It just looks beautiful, Chuck Rock. You know, that's not one of the greater games, but... Earthworm Jim, that's a good game. You know, tons of selection, okay? Let's just exit this now. <clears throat> now let's see, you want to check out, I don't know, PlayStation. So you want to play some PlayStation 2. And there you go. It's got a, kind of a different layout for the PS2 games. Soul Calibur, Resident Evil. 
Boom. Need for speed. Look at that. There we go. All you soccer fanatics. Hey, there. All right, so let's try something else here. Let's try main. So you click in the main, you got all your main classics, DD Crew, um, Donkey Kong, Double Dragon. This is a fighting game, the, like the fighter verse mode, Double Dragon. Dungeons and Dragons. Actually, these games are really good, guys. I remember playing this in Toronto at an arcade. This is a great game. Um, it's just it's just endless. Like, look at this wheel. Look at that. Look how sick that is. That's disgusting. It's just gross how beautiful this thing is. Look at this. Legendary wings. Like you, like, you could play this for weeks on end and still not be able to play everything. Marvel Super Heroes. You know? So, yeah. So, that's how Hyperspin works. I'm going to shut the volume off, okay, guys? Let me back up the camera. I'm going to show you some more additional work that I've done to the uh, cabinet. I've changed the marquee light to this. Okay, sorry, it's kind of blurry, guys. With these with these lights, I found that it's very difficult to get a good shot. So, my buddy B. Diddy hooked me up with that. Great job. And I actually installed a coin door. <coughs> it is a working coin door. Okay. Now these light up. They run on quarters or free play. Uh, I put brand new cam locks in. Okay, and you can see that's the uh, working... Uh, coin door there okay and that's just running off five volts I might want to get one of those step up converters that I talked about in the other video just to make it a little bit brighter okay and then this is the bottom of the cash box here but uh, the way I got it set up is that it's I'm not even going to open it there's just a cardboard box underneath collecting the uh, coins and then I got a master lock just locking everything up here okay yeah so those are kind of the add-ons I've done since the last video so this is the update here now, if you want to get uh, any program, any emulator program to work as soon as you turn Windows on, it's very simple. All you want to do is go to All Programs, go to Start, All Programs, and then look for Startup. When you find Startup, open the folder, and whatever program you want your computer to start right off the bat, just uh, grab that program, grab a shortcut for that program, and just drag it right into that file, and next time you turn on your computer, it will load that program right away. Alright guys, so yeah, there's not very much. I just wanted you guys to see a little bit of the Hyperspin uh, front end and to see how it kind of operated. Okay guys, uh, check it out. Give me a thumbs up. If you guys aren't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. I got content coming out all the time. Okay guys, uh, yeah. So this is Retro Pro Frank saying thanks a lot for checking out this update on my main cabinet. If you guys haven't seen the original, please go through my list of videos and you'll see the original of how this was actually built. And I do have a bar top arcade uh, video that I posted uh, in YouTube as well. Alright, so this is Retro Pro Frame, and I'm out. Guys, thanks for watching the video. If you guys like this video, go ahead and press the like button below, and uh, you guys can leave some comments uh, in the comment section of the video. Please share this video on Facebook pages to your friends and family, as well as if you guys like this video, please subscribe. This is Retro Pro Frank. Thanks for watching. I'm out.